lovelies, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rosie Henshaw, if you're new here, then welcome, it's lovely to meet you. <laughs> and if you already existed and I, guys, welcome back. So, um, <laughs> I even made myself really laugh there, that's how embarrassing I am. And I'm in my pyjama bottoms, guys, and I'm wearing just a comfy t-shirt, my glasses on, so you've got a little appearance of Andy from Little Britain. Um, but yeah, today's video is only a quick one, but I've been requested to do this because you guys, I've been doing a little bit of a reno in the dining, I keep saying the dining room, in the hallway for a little while now. It's been going on since before um, the lockdown. I would say probably about two weeks before. So you may have seen me starting to paint above the um, actual picture rail in the dining room. And we also had a new light fitted that I didn't show you. It was the same as in the um, dining room. Maybe that's why I keep saying dining room, I'm not sure. Um, but I've panelled the wall out here. So I've panelled the wall. Sorry, the lighting's coming through. We've got new switch covers coming, which I'm really excited about because they're the ones that literally click over the front and you just re-screw the screws through without actually having to be like a proper electrician. They're from Amazon. I'm really looking forward to them coming. So I've got one for there and one for over there as well. Um, and I just wanted to show you really because I kept getting asked on my Instagram what sort of widths of wood this was. Um, so I wanted to just say, these are just simple, um, they come in really long lengths actually of wood, and they're seven centimeters wide, the actual thick, uh, width of them. The depth of them is five millimeters, and they come in really long lengths. And um, yeah, I've been shopping my home really to get this all finished off. I mean, the paintwork, I will just tell you though, the paint looks lovely. I have some black tester pot, and I just put it in a big tub of white, making sure obviously it was both, um, matte because if one's silk one's matte it won't work and um, but i did try and touch it up the day after from caulking and actually you can really see lots of patches so it's one of them things where once you've painted it you definitely cannot just go over it again because then you, it shows it comes up a different color each time and it really shows patches so obviously once this lockdown's over i'm going to paint a little bit of this onto a little bit of wood take it into b q get them to scan it and then obviously get it mixed up so it will always come out one colour and I'm probably getting like a bit of a scrubbable paint because the kids have always got their hands on the walls and um, so I'll probably do that. I've painted it, I've done painted the ceilings, obviously the light's been put up, I said that already, I don't know why we go back into it, but I love this light, this was £40 um, from Dunelm and we had this put in literally just before the lockdown, same time as the dining room. And we also bought the radiator covers the same time as we've done the dining room as well. These are from Wayfair. Um, I do and don't recommend these, if I'm completely honest, because they come up really bashed. They needed repainting because they had drip marks on them and the screws behind them. I say they weren't really bashed on the front, it was more drip marks. But on the inside where the screws go, there was like um, bashes on the brackets. So you had to kind of re redraw holes. But these cost like £60, so actually for this size, which is extra large, even being cute for the patterns that I don't like, they're really, really expensive, about £100. And um, some people did say check eBay out as well, so I'm not too sure, but I do think this is kind of okay value. Um, and for what I had to do to it, I'm not too fussed by it, by, because obviously the price was really cheap. So what I've done out here is I've just put my lanterns back here after I've had a little clean. The door is currently open with a basket. <laughs> <laughs> and to the porch of the shoe basket because the evening sun is starting to shine in and um, so it was really really dark in here and then because it's a spotlight down light you couldn't really see the true color of the wall so what I've done in here as well I had these candlesticks up on the side already but they were in like a beigey color so with some chalk paint that I already had I've given them a little coat to make them really stand out against the charcoal um, I've also just got some faux eucalyptus um, that I've got from the range. I've always got loads of bunches of these that I craft with. And I've stuck them into a jug that I had from Next um, about a year ago. I absolutely love the pattern of this. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, and I ne no one ever thinks I've got that from Next. Even though Next is a lovely sh like shop, it always looks like it's from one of them sort of like Maison shops. Um, the little glass clutch thing here that I've got, this is just from Asda Home. And I've just put one of them little home bargains, um, Jo Malone dupes inside of it. And then on this side, I've got my lovely little Willow Heart. I got that from, I can't remember the name of the company. I'll try and remember. Sometimes I screenshot um, the picture of my, um, you know, like when they say, oh, thank you, you'll see, you've all, thank you for your order, your order number is such and such. I screenshot it and keep it because any websites that I've bought something that I really like off of, in case I forget the name because I'm so forgetful, I screenshot it so I know where I got things from so I can go back and 
get it at a later date. So I'm gonna have a little look and see if I can find that. And if I can, then I will link it below. Um, and this little pot here, this is from Bay Tree Interiors. It's a lovely little stone pot. This is actually something they sell on behalf of Hill Interiors. So loads of different websites sell this. And the only place they've got that in stock at the moment is called Teddy and Bow. It's a company. Um, but obviously all these bits I already had at home anyway. So the mirror as well, I wanted to put a mirror up, but all the mirrors that I was sort of finding down in my garage were either too small for this space or bright gold, which would look really lovely with a charcoal because I've got so many silver accessories and obviously the silver plug things are coming as well. Like it's just gonna not go very well. So this mirror, if you look up close, it was all this sort of dark, sort of color gray, and it had all scratches on it where it'd been in the garage. So what I've done is got some chalk paint, distressed it, it, lightened it up a little bit, made it stand out a little bit more from the wall. And it's so nice just to think these were things I already had. I've shopped what I, what I already had, the paint I already had. Obviously I'm having problems, but once I recoat this whole wall, as long as I don't start touching it up again, it will just be like one solid color without any patches. It's just where I've tried to go in over the top and it's just left where it's dried at a different time, it's just left it a slightly patchy. And so just what I'm recommend doing that. So you can definitely do that, but just don't touch it up. <laughs> but I'm always touching the paint up, so it's not really a good fit for me. <clears throat> also, before we had, um, sorry, I'm not trying to cover up, I don't know what I'm trying to cover up, there's all my dinner mess there. But I've just had dinner. We've all had dinner, the kids are in the living room now, watching a little bit of telly after they've had their dinner. Um, so what I am gonna do is I wanted to share a few ideas with you as well. So currently the floor we've got is like a wooden type floor. Now when we moved in, they've actually re repurposed the floorboards under this. They look really lovely, but Gary's not keen on floorboards. So what I said to Gary is, we'll meet in the middle because I'm not too keen on this floor anymore. We said about having what was in the porch put continuously through, so like some really nice funky tiles, but maybe more in like a dark, darker charcoal rather than the lighter grey, and flow it through to out the kitchen. Also, I don't know if this is gonna be a project for me while the holidays are up. I'm calling them the holidays, because then it don't make me feel too, too sad about being in isolation. Um, but while this is all happening, I'm thinking of perhaps stripping the stairs back from the carpet, sanding on the staircase, and staining the top stair a similar color to what I've stained. This is a coffee stained thing. This was actually painted um, in white, so I stripped it all off. Some bits I really could not get off, but it's all a bit distressed because Gary always puts his work coat there. It always gets really grubby and it just won't withstand him being white. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint the treads. I'm gonna stain the tread, shall I, with my coffee stain. And then the bottom, like the undersides here, they're all gonna be painted in white. And then I would really like to get them silver rods and get a really nice carpet runner run down the stairs. And I'm still in two minds whether or not to panel on this wall too. But whether I do or I don't, this color that I'm gonna get mixed up from being cute on the wall here, I'm gonna paint it on all the other walls because it looks really nice. And now we've got the white above, we really can afford to sort of make it a little bit darker. You still have a lot of light. So I'm gonna kind of shut the door now. So you can see a few other little bits that I've done. Um, so I've repinned my Roman blinds because this is from Dunnell and basically the back of it had broken off and it was coming down really low, making it really dark because you couldn't really see the light coming through. It was sort of to here. So I've re-sewed that, pinned it all up and put that back up once it was all painted. Um, and here is my little lamp from the range. I painted that, that was in dark wood. Um, it's like 39 pound, but all the ones I wanted to get online that looked a bit stony like this were really expensive. So that worked out to be a really cost effective way to get them kind of like ball top lamps, but in a cheaper price. Obviously I've got my ugly little air freshener there and my phone, they're just things that have got to be there. <laughs> Another thing, you know, just everyone has them kind of ugly little things. Um, and the little chest that we have out here, I, ha I, hatch I actually, I actually got this in Sal. Um, and I've put little porcelain knobs on this and I've spray painted the little photo picture pullers because these were like a dark black and the lovely spray paint, it really does look like the porcelain and all this spray paint was is the pound shop one, like the gloss car one. Um, so yeah, and I've got a little basket from Laura Ashley that currently goes here that you can put shoes and stuff in but it's out being used as a puffet in the living room at the moment while we're in isolation and because I can't stand the look of plugs, I've just put this little tiny mirror there I know it looks random, but it's going there because I just think in case the kids or the dog go near the plugs. And um, also I've got this, let me just open the door so more sunlight comes through. I'm finding I'm doing all this filming late of an evening because then I'm not doing learning or tidying up or doing things with the kids. <laughs> so 
So this, I absolutely love this. This is like a big carved wood like ornament and we have got one at the top of the stairs as well. Nice little couple of towels hanging over the banisters just for good, good measure so you can see. And also if you can see, I've been filling in little holes that were on this wall as well. I tried to have a few pictures up but I thought, you know what, there's no point going back over this because I'm gonna be doing it in the same color charcoal once I get the color mixed up. So we did have a square one of these and that was there. Um, and then I went to the range and I see that they had the big circle of this. So I've had this for about six months now and I absolutely love it. It looks so beautiful. And I think I paid about £20 for it. So really, really cheap compared to the ones that you could get from like Mason's to Mond and places like that online. <clears throat> and as we go down, I've got my toilet. <laughs> I've got my little bee knocker on the toilet door, which is just ridiculous. And I've also got some PVC cleaner, which I'm going to clean this up with because we actually are due to have a new thermostat fitted but we obviously we can't while we're in lockdown that's just not going to happen but this drives me mad that it isn't the same colour so I'm going to try and see with the PVC cleaner if I can get that up looking a little bit more white until um but yeah so you can see into the porch you can see the wall I'm absolutely loving it all of these things I already had at home and the wood was so simple to tack up I literally used um no one else to tack it up I measured the lengths that I wanted to be down cut them all in one go because they were literally all the same length across so I knew how many bits I measured them apart so these are 45 centimeters wide each gap between each dowels and then I put a little bit at the top but because it's quite thick it meets down at the skirting absolutely perfectly and sits above it so I haven't actually had to put any like planks at the bottom and I'm just loving it I just love the effect I think it looks much more expensive it looks really nice it's completely on a budget all of this wood I ordered from Wix um, I did have no one else left over. Um, I bought two bottles, um, like two tubs of cork that I used um, to do this. That's because I'm really, really messy with cork. You probably would only need one for this, not even a whole one. Uh, but they're only a pound each as well from most places. I already had no nails left over, so I didn't need to buy no more nails. But the wood in total cost me £38. So this cost me £38 to panel the whole wall. Really, really simple. And I'm definitely thinking I'm going to be doing this on my back wall, like my main sort of like display wall the thing that you would see when I do my try on so where is normally wallpapered accent wall that's the one Rosie <coughs> really losing my voice <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry right. I'm not ill I haven't caught nothing I literally have just got a bit of a scratchy like scratchy sore throat I think it's because I've not shut up talking and saying to the kids and doing learning and goodness knows what I didn't realize I probably don't talk as much as I have been since the kids have been home um so yeah shop this at home it's cost 38 pounds I think it looks really lovely as I said, a bit disappointed about this going a bit patchy, but if I'd done it over again, I wouldn't need to buy new paint. I would just leave it, just obviously give it a whole new coat and then not touch it. But just to be, because I want to do the other walls anyway, and because they touch the walls, it would just be a better idea just to get that paint mixed up by being cute once it's open. Do it all in one go. But I definitely would like to know what your ideas are on perhaps bringing the funky floor tiles throughout I think that would look really really cute and also about the stairs because there's obviously nothing wrong with the carpet it's looking a little bit dark at the moment because obviously it's nighttime light it's really really looking dingy in here even though it doesn't actually that's it when the light's coming through you can see there's absolutely nothing wrong with it but I just really love them sort of like grand looking staircases and because obviously this has got all the panelled effect on it as well I think it would just look really really cute so but this is my little update. I wanted to tell you what type of wood I use. And when I'm uploading pictures as well, I think people are some under the illusion that I've been out and bought some new accessories and a new mirror and a new radiator cover. But if you go back to some of my other videos, you will see that the lights were purchased ages ago and put up, because obviously I'm not an electrician. There ain't no electricians in the land that probably be coming to my house. Um, so these have been set up. This was painted beforehand. And these are all things that I had in my garage. I also wanted to give a little shout out to Crystal Tears. She's a really lovely lady that watches my videos. I just want to say, hiya, Crystal Tears. So I'm going to go. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry my washing machine's been going on in the background, but life isn't perfect, is it? Um, so yeah, this is my little, little wall in progress so far. I'm definitely, if you would like to follow me on Instagram, I'll link that below as well, because I'm definitely going to be showing, as soon as they arrive, um, the little switch covers, I'll be showing you those because I know there's so many people that would love to have nice shiny silver switches or gold or brass to match their decor but really it's quite a costly thing isn't it having to go and pay for an electrician they're about £10 each then they pay for an electrician to change every single one of them and also if you're in a rental you might not be able to so it literally clicks on over the top 
you re-screw through. These are one of them ones that you put the sticky pads on and then they end up leaving muck on them. They look really nice, so hopefully, I'm gonna show them on my Instagram as well and I'll probably, when I do another YouTube video, I might just quickly show you as well for you that don't have Instagram. And yeah, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go and have a nice cup of tea now, as usual, that's my normal thing. Get off here, have a little cup of tea, go and upload. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed my little, my little dining, I keep saying dining room, my little hallway tour, <laughs> little update. So take care, and also, if you do follow me on Instagram, it'd be really lovely if you carry on sending your pictures of all your little DIYs that you've been getting up to. It's been keeping me sane. <laughs> so take care, guys. I've been Rosie Henshaw. See you later. Bye.